Welcome back. I'm Bridgeburn 412, and we are in the closed beta of New World, and I've been dumping quite a bit of time into the game here, and we're level 19, and we're going to be questing up to hit level 20 this episode, hopefully, uh, and uh, if you'll notice up in my left-hand corner, you know, there's been some rumors about um, GPUs getting destroyed. Um, I think those are overblown. I have my MSI Afterburner going. Now, granted, I have a processor that's that's on the older side. So I have um, so I have up there the GPU temperature for my 2070 graphics card and then uh, my CPU temperature in the blue there is, of course, CPU temperature and then how much RAM I'm using. So it does take quite a bit of RAM to run the game, but I have a pretty good RAM setup, so it's okay. Uh, I'm in a town, and the the deep uh, the um, FPS has dropped a bit for me, at least. But like I said, I have an older processor. I do have a new rig coming in pretty soon, in the middle of August. So um, we'll take a, another gander at all of these numbers then. So I'll just leave that up there for you guys to look at and, and kind of monitor if you wish. But uh, I do want to share with you a lot of uh, what has what has transpired since then. I guess um, uh, we can start with my character first. Um, I've leveled up um, to tier two gear, and the tier two gear is um, I can't remember what the level was where I could actually start using tier two. I would say maybe ten, uh, but. Tier three gear, you can start using at level 20. So our plan is to get to level 20 and uh, start getting, if we can, our faction gear. So the faction we joined is the uh, the uh, the covenant here. So um, going the here, still with you. I've selected some of the uh, the faction things that we're going to do here. Um, so if we open our faction board, I have gotten to the initiate level. So for all of these quests that we're going to be doing, I'm not going to be getting any more XP in the, in the faction. However, I will be getting tokens and the tokens are important because, uh, we are at initiate level now, but I'm going to be saving up my tokens, uh, for the next tier to to get some items in here and they're they're a little bit more expensive of course than you would expect oh, that was the wrong thing there so uh build wise uh if i just or let me just go back a screen here explain this a little bit better so uh in our territory uh we are the covenant faction then there are the two other factions the syndicate and the marauders and what these two gra these two lines indicate is how much influence the other faction has in our territory. So um, they're working up the influence here uh, at forty one. The Marauders seem to be uh, seem to be the force to be reckoned with at least here in in Windsward. Um, so the green indicates the uh, Marauder faction. Yellow indicates our faction, and then the purple is the other faction. So the way PvP works is you engage in PvP activities either out in the world or you can engage in, in the war, which I haven't tried yet. I'm not a big PvP fan, um, but perhaps I'll give it a whirl at some point. But by doing the PvP quests and activities, um, you can uh, you can address these uh, uh, these balances. So obviously they're trying, the green, the marauders are trying to get this whole area. Um, and the covenant has two disjointed area areas. I would imagine, um, you know, this, this area here, um, reek water will become contested as well. Now, also here you'll see uh, these icons. So these are corrupted hives and monoliths. And it's suggested that 
you know, it shows you certain recommended levels to engage in those activities. So that's quite a bit higher. And then it tells you the, you know, if, if it's like a corrupted monolith, it's recommended that five players go in there, not just one. So, um, so that's, uh, that's the faction dynamics. Also, you can see which faction it, or which uh, company is governing the faction. So this faction uh, settlement is governed by We Am Ustorum. Um, the, the faction up here, faction, the Covenant faction up here is um, governed by Dawn Guard. So um, I am in a company that someone just sent me a random invite, so I just accepted it just to kind of see what it's about. So I'm here in the Knights of the First Order. Um, and this is kind of like your guilds, your normal guilds. So the way the world works is you uh, join a faction and the faction is comprised up of various guilds and then there's you at the lowest level. Um, the people who who uh, are the governors of the town, they set things such as tax rate. Um, and I'm trying to remember, where did I see? I It shows it when you walk into town. But, um, uh, it'll show you tax rate, how much it costs to craft, how much it costs to do things. Now, if you're in a settlement that is your faction, you get reduced fees on traveling to fast travel points um, because you are part of the faction. Um, and other various uh, bonuses. The way fast travel works is you have to have these Azeroth potions. You'll see I have 195. And if I wanted to fast travel there, it would cost me 37. Uh, and then if you hover over this, it'll tell you. So because um, I'm in the faction that uh, that is in charge of the settlement, my faction discount is minus 24. So I don't have to pay as much. So there's a, a base cost, then there's a distance cost, and then there's an encumbrance cost, and that's how much you have on your person um, to travel, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna run down here and we're gonna try to do these. So we're gonna be moving into the territory of the other faction and do these. I'm not flagging for PVP at this time. Um, like I said, PVP isn't really my thing. But if we wanted to travel here, you'll notice that there we don't get our faction discount. But we do get um, uh, we do get our base cost encumbrance cost uh, covered there. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel. You get the Azeroth potions by uh, completing quests and doing various things. So I'm going to fast travel down there. But first, I want to check and see. Oops. I want to check and see if my bags are pretty much empty. Uh, they are, but I'm going to move all of this stuff over to my storage. So in each town, there is a storage chest and, um, or a storage shed. And you can just move your stuff in the shed and it will calculate your storage shed. I've got a thousand pounds worth of stuff that I could put in my storage shed. Uh, and then the, I can carry 250 pounds worth of stuff. You start with 200, at least I started with 200, and then this bag adds another 50 encumbrance. Uh, you'll notice there. So um, once you hit 250, then you become over encumbered and, and you kind of crawl around. The armor I have going and my gear set, so each weapon weighs, weighs you down and then your, your armor set weighs you down as well. So I'm at 27.6 out of 50. So that puts me at medium, which is about, which is about right for the, the character I've developed here. I don't think I want heavy. Uh, it gives you a description of each, each one of these. If you're wearing light armor, uh, you dodge quicker and you deal 20% more damage. Uh, medium, you deal 10% bonus damage. Uh, and crown control debuffs you apply last 10% longer. Heavy 
uh, while wearing heavy armor, your dodge is a slow sidestep. Your block stability is increased by 15%. Crowd control debuffs you apply last 20% longer. So I think medium is kind of the sweet spot. Um, and you'll notice here I've chosen, well, let me repair that. So the way you repair is you hold R and then you, it costs you coin and repair parts. So you get repair parts by deconstructing things. So like if I were to deconstruct this sword, if I were to salvage it, I'll get one repair part and 25 gold for that. But I don't want to decon that just yet. I've been kind of playing with the different uh, the different weapons and the different loadouts and kind of really liking the hatchet. Um, does a lot of damage quickly and the sword and shield that I was using before. I briefly jumped out to using the spear and the bow because those are both agility weapons. Um, but the bow wasn't doing as much damage as I thought it would be doing. Plus, the aiming takes takes a lot of practice. So, um, you know, this... Uh, uh oh there goes Rosie. So this... Um, uh, you know, this... Uh, that's where I want beta derp. Uh, this beta only lasts until August 2nd or August 1st. So, uh, August 2nd. So, you know, I don't have a lot of time to get good. Uh, once it launches on the 31st, uh, then I'll have all the time in the world. I do plan to play this game. I should probably state at the outset here. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. It is, it is a neat new world. I'm digging the explorer kind of vibe and, um, you know, the mechanics are definitely taking uh, taking me some, some work to get used to. So, without further ado, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in the little introductory portion here. But let's go ahead and fast travel. Oh, wait, did I put the stuff in there? I think I'm so excited. Yes, okay, so I put, <laughs> I put stuff. This we can put over there as well uh we don't use mana mana's for magic casting i did not i have not explored uh magic casters at all so um not sure not sure about that uh okay so let's fast travel and while i'm fast traveling i'm gonna go see uh what rosie's about i'll be back in one second Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. So, here we are. Um, so, our quest here is to... Um, we got to kill some Warden Lynx and get in them for their sharp claws. Now, as you level your various uh, harvesting skills and such, you'll notice up there at the top, your the arrow pointing up over the M, that's what direction you're facing. And I've killed so many rabbits that I now can, uh, I can track the rabbits. So there it was, and someone just killed it. I was gonna harvest it, but that one. <laughs> poach the guys, uh, poach the guys kill. Uh, I am enjoying quite a bit the uh, the hatchet, I must say. Um, so you'll notice there, that's going to point me to, I think it's uh, hemp, and that's where you get, where's it, herbs? Yeah, it's hemp. So hemp is where you generate, um, I'll just craft this, I'll just grab this one. Uh, 
hemp is where you generate your uh, fabrics from. And some things take a long time to harvest, and others, like this bush, does not. So it depends on, on what you're doing here. I cannot harvest this one yet because I don't have harvesting skill at 100. You can check all your skills here under trade skills. So you can kind of see what I've been working on. Um, so uh, I actually did do some fishing, friends, and <laughs> I actually enjoyed it, which, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't imagine spending much time fishing, but you never know. But you can kind of see how you're progressing on your trade skills. In terms of weapon mastery, uh, I got the bow up to six, the musket up to four or to five. Spear I used quite a bit, got to seven. The hatchets I just pulled out um, recently, but they're up to seven already. And then I've got my sword and shield uh, at eight. And you can see, and I'll, I'll kind of show as we, as we go through here um, what the different skill trees are all about. All right, so I have, so in here in this little jungle area, zoom in on the map here, I guess all the way around in here is going to be uh, finding, finding the word and links. So, kinda gotta have to keep an eye peeled. There's one. You start to, one of the things I like is it seems like they've struck a, a good balance between looking at your UI and and the environment so you're not just locked into your environment all the time I've crafted some food and the good thing about the food is um, uh, I have it in in the three slot if you look down in the lower right hand corner of the weapons above my weapons in the three slot I have my food that I have crafted and that gives you a boost and then for 25 minutes it's a slow regen my four slot I have uh, health potions and then in my fifth spot I have regeneration potions which will operate similar to food you don't, uh, and a, but a lot, a lot less. So that was my skill that I used there to throw the axe. But I also have a setting where I can, for 10 stamina, I can throw the axe. And um, that's, that's super effective. Like, I can almost kill something by throwing the hatchet um, before it even gets here. Although this is a higher level thing here. My um, dodging is my weakest, my weakest skill at this point, being able to do it. Um, I do have it set up on my keypad to help a little bit. Uh, but it is going to take practice. As someone who's played hours and hours and hours and hours of Lotro, where there it is target locked, not having a target lock incorporates the right hand uh, on the mouse into combat. Grab that up. All right, did I get all of my? Did I get all of my D my deals for the two? Oh no, we need one more. I think that guy's doing the same thing. These are reagents for health potions of various kinds. Okay, there we go. There. See if I can get this one pretty much dead before it gets here. I did not even get close. If there were one quibble I have about the game, and again, I don't know if it's... Hi, let me harvest this thing. It's uh, the, uh, the inability to interrupt an animation in order to dodge. So 
I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who has that uh, that concern. Okay, so now we're going to head down here to Elder's Bluff, and here we need to search chests for the Marauder Dispatch and Sercor. So, uh, anything here? And I won't spend too much time harvesting in this episode. That isn't the most exciting thing to watch, unless it's something valuable. Uh, the valuable resources, at least, at least to where I am, are iron, because it's you have to kind of look around for it, and, um, and kind of the, uh, the healing reagents. I can see there's going to be a lot of money in uh, healing items. If you're a crafter. Uh, I enjoy crafting uh, myself. So um, you know, that'll be that'll be fun to do. All right, let's see here. So, let's see. Okay. I guess I didn't really. Need So these are level 20, so... So that's kind of my hatchet rotation. My hatchet rotation is... Um, hit him with the thrown one because that puts a rend on him. And then I can get in and get four hits off. And then two... And then I'm pretty good. And then I, if I want, I can swap over and finish him with the sword. Although these guys are a level above me. So. Uh, you're not really one-shotting stuff. At least I'm not one-shotting stuff out here. Uh, in Lotro, uh, if you've been watching my Lotro progression, you know, we're pretty much at... At level, we're pretty much, you know, one-shotting a lot of enemies, or at least... Close to one-shotting them. Uh, Life Bloom is good if you're crafting um, potions or crafting, I think, I want to say it's dexterity items. The moats um, help for crafting dexterity. Okay, so we have to, we have to search these chests. Um, so I'm betting... Chests are usually in the building, so I'm betting here to our left. Oops, I forgot I have my sword on. I'm doing that quite a bit too. Where I'm forgetting which weapon I have. Engaged, and the weapon swapping isn't as fast as I would like either. Uh, um, I guess this isn't a building, so there should be just chests laying around. Um, hey, you got a lot to jump on me. So by killing that enemy, I got 10 Azoth. So by killing, I think it's Azoth, I think that's how it works. So by killing them, that's how, uh, that's getting me some Azoth. I think it's pronounced Azoth. All right, um, are we, another thing I would like is if they would actually Saracor. Oh, maybe Saracor is in here. Alright, so starting to get some aggro here.
and I'm totally in the habit of oh, yeah. of you know double clicking Wrong one. It's gonna get me killed. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. one I guess there's five of these um let's see here so that one I wonder if is this all sidecar It listed this as a so. Oh, there's a chest. So I was going to say that up there is probably a different. Uh, when they glow like that, um, it's. Um, can't interrupt him. Okay. Fire staff has been acquired. Another dispatch. We've got two out of, I think we need five. Yep. Um... Alright, 
let's head down here and see what's going on. Is there any chests down here? Overlooking the island, it reaches into the sea. So I'm thinking that these are like the walls of Sekor. I don't know if this is this is part of it down here. Because this whole place is Elder's Bluff. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. Progress. We're making progress. There was one there. there might be one over here. Yeah, I'm really torn about what what uh, to make my main. Um, usually, my first journey through is, um, oh! is an archer. And to be fair, you know, as you level, you, up, you, know, you can get upgrade your skills as well. Just forgot. Upgrade. For example, you saw that counter attack there. That's an added, um, an added point you can put into that, so that you'll, your damage will increase after you block. Gotta be a chest down there. Right, fortunately, fall damage isn't really a thing. I mean, you do take some fall damage, but it doesn't, it's not like it totally uh, murders you. You know, that brown rabbit has a little thing over its head for a, uh, a settlement quest. So I initially was in this settlement before it turned uh, purple. Now you can stay in the settlement uh, if you wish, um, but I think it punishes you in terms of of taxes. You guys always get me on the jump. And other skills. So what I did is I, I moved settlements up to, so I moved up to here. Um, and you've got to move all of your stuff physically. Uh, you, it, the stuff that you have in your shed. Um, this was a spot, right? Here we 
Okay. Uh oh, here's another dude. here as I miss wow but to be fair I've been using the hatchet a lot more than the sword ever since I got it okay we need one more dispatch is it gonna be here Here we go. All right, Crusade, Sercor Bridge. Defeat the ancient guardian at the Sercor Bridge. Okay, so that's right in front of us. So let's go ahead and do that. Not sure what my range is on that. Pretty good. Okay, so you saw how many how many shots of the bow. All right, get in there. Also, I have done no grouping with anybody else, so um, and I wish they had the Elder Scrolls double tap dodge. That would make it a lot better. All right, I think this is the guy. He's a he's a skyologist. Ancient Helm of the Duelist. Interesting. Okay. Uh oh, I didn't want to jump up there. He should have jumped up there, actually. going great axe he's going great axe and oh I guess we already did this we he's going great axe and agility build that's interesting so he's pumping into strength and agility for that build He's just gonna stay down there. He can pounce and. Hello, greetings. Who's the one who's saying greetings to me? Okay, um. down here but I guess not so now we have to head into town to turn these in um, and town is this way No, 
know, there is a quest to run faster. I have I've seen people in the chat talking about um, that guy's running pretty fast. So I'm not sure how you get that. Um, I think it's a covenant quest. But that definitely would be something good. Apparently, I saw also in the chat that mounts come at level uh, 25. So now when we come in here, you can see the property tax, training tax, crafting fee, and refining fee. So it's not bad here. At the Marauder place where I started down in um, what was it, Monarch's, uh, Monarch's Bluff, it was really, uh, it was really expensive. You also see our FPS has dropped quite a bit coming into town here. So we're turning in these quests oh, for... We're not going to get any more rep here. Because um, we haven't leveled up to the... There's a quest you have to do to move to the Templar rank. But we complete that one, that one, and that one. So we have 2173 tokens, which is good. Um, these, once you select these, it will put you into... Uh, see how it says there? It will put you into PvP mode. Um, which... I don't know how you complete the quests, so I've kind of been avoiding it. Uh, you can tell uh, I'm not a big PvP kind of guy. Um, okay, so we turn in our stuff here. Um, now, we could... I'm not sure my cooldown to go back up up to Windward. Oh, it, I, I can. Okay, so this cooldown, once you set up in the town that that's going to be your location you can fast travel back to there um for free but it it has a one hour cooldown okay so we got a quest able to turn in there uh and then we got this quest up here that we can do and these are quests but we don't have them pinned so you can pin the objective if you want and it'll give it a number and so far uh, what I'm seeing is uh, you can only pin uh, you can only have six objectives going at a time. This is the main story quest um, and I'm going to hold off doing any more of those probably until I have to uh, merely because it's um, you know I kind of want to save the story rather than sprinting through and doing all of that. But let's go ahead and port back to the inn. Get out of this purple area back to our Crusader area, Covenant area. And I can't remember, did we have anything to turn in here? We did. Here at the town project board. I like how the little bell rings when you walk out the door. So this guy here is obviously in my my faction uh, or my uh, company. So we can turn in this one. Okay. Um, so that got us a little bit of XP and wasn't great. But what can you do? I'm not going to deliver 300 Greenwood to the town because I kind of need it. Um, this is in progress. We need These are just kind of I'm doing as I come across them. So I'm not really focusing too much on those. Um, but we're working on the no confidence stew. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and zoom out and see which way do we want to go. 
That's level 15. Level 11. Level 9. Might as well do these lower level ones first. We'll just go here. I didn't think I would like the Explorer vibe as much as I'm liking it. But even my outfit, like I'm digging this. Looking like I'm ready for action. Ready to settle a new country. Ooh. So I need to search for the missing patrol. Requires 50 mining skill. Mining skill, I think it's like. And I haven't been reading any of the, the quests as I'm going through, really. So I don't know if it told me at some point what these things are or not. But um, like, look, look like little dead Pokemons. I've also got to skin rabbits, get briar branches. Also need turkeys. So up there, see, I looked at my compass and I saw the turkey up there. Which means there's a turkey over here somewhere. There it is. Oh, got the wrong thing. progress on our little turkey trot. Right, it's 15 mining. I'm not sure how much more crafting I'm going to do. I've, I've kind of gotten a feel for it, so I kind of see how it works. Um, I'll probably craft uh, at least a sword and some armor on my guy, so I will need still uh, to be getting iron. So as we come across iron through our adventure, I will be grabbing that. Um, now, the young trees take a little bit longer to harvest you'll see but you get more resources off of the the bigger the tree of course the more resources you get and I crafted myself uh, some iron tools to, to, it makes it go faster we need to kill rabbits too Buddy. Yeah, we need skin rabbit. Um Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Bull rush wash. Those three guys just came and ruined this area. Like I say, I'm not reading anything. I'm just sort of clicking on stuff. Where's that thing? Um, just 
destroy, span, shatter abominations around Bull Rush Wash. So I think that's span, shatter. There. I think these are. Sometimes it's counting and sometimes it isn't. So this guy's cutting down a bigger tree. Of course, you have to have higher skills. do I need? I need three more. Oh, it's the worst. Trying to farm things and you've got more than one caster just spamming out the, uh, the long range. What I hope doesn't happen, but I fear might, is I think one of the when I was playing Elder Scrolls Online so much one of my biggest issues was if you wanted to be a DPS class and burn stuff down you you had to be a caster it was so out of balance that I started as an archer and archers became um completely um, irrelevant. see there is a little bit of a of a, a drop I didn't realize it was that close to me there is a little bit of a drop so you got to angle up a little all right here we go and boomba boomba okay now we need briar branches we are one thing that I hope they will add. Uh, I know it. You know, MMOs always start. You know, at bare bare bones, and then they add stuff. Uh, I hope they add weather patterns. I'm supposed to. Down. Oh. All right. Do it and do it.
Now we're on to number four. does not look like we are going to be hitting level 20 in this episode. Um, we've got 47 minutes before we can port back there, but we can fast travel for 57 as off, but you can only do that if you're in a fast travel part port. Um, so we are hoofing it. So I will go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so you'll see we're in our area and we need to search chests for rivets at Stoneview Seabreak. So, um, it's pinned here. Enough stones even see parts for time. Recommend level 23. So we're level 19. Now, I have not died yet. Um,. So I've been fortunate in that regard. So uh, I want to make sure I don't, don't die. But in case I do, what you can do, I'll need some flint. I don't think I have any flint. Uh, I'll need some, some wood. You start to recognize these things in your world. I think you just need one. And then you can build your camp. And we'll apply our resources to build our camp here. And what happens now is you can craft a few things here at your camp. While you're out and about um, and you know, food. Oh, I guess I can craft this. Oh, I need a camp tier two. That's another quest that I haven't finished yet either to make a tier two camp. Anywho, um, so if I die, I think I'm pretty confident that's where I will respawn. But like I say, I haven't died yet. I don't really want to die. Let's see how this steam engineer works out for us here. Got a big old club, so we'll sidestep him. Sidestep him. Oh, that's the one. That's the one to avoid. So we're we're okay with one. I don't know about two though. Taking, taking some pretty big hits here. Drink the thing. Um, so we need a food. Since we've only got 
39 seconds left. So, um, if we can go one by one, I think we can do it. Uh, but the problem is I don't know where these chests are. Kind of blows. I might stick with the sword. chest way over there. I see a chest right there. Can I pass a chest over here somewhere? I don't think so. So here's here's two that are coming. Oh no, wrong one. Get in there, that hits both of them. is not good. Woo! That was close. It was very close. Oh, boys. Oh, boy. They're respawning pretty quickly here. I forgot I'm almost out of health. I think we're going to have to save this one, friends. My camp, where did I set up my camp? Over here, right? So I can rest at my camp. And that will pump up the, uh, the health faster. Let's go help this guy. He's moving in this direction as well. Go we'll through here together. Oh, being smart. <laughs> oh, he's on to us. over us here. Where's he going? This might be it for us, friends. as well yeah it was just too many guys 
Too many dudes. All right, so our first death. I can still be revived. I anticipate that not happening at all. Okay, so we are killed by a star, star stream regent. Near settlement. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Now, supposedly what dying does, at least from reading the chat, is that it hurts your... Um, your stuff but it's easy to repair so I'm just holding R I wish there were a repair all function it might be somewhere All right, we're back at full gear. Um, I'm wondering if we have to go there. That chest is a big chest. I wonder if there are just littler chests around, like right here. Boom. All right, we need one more. Focus fire, Jackson. We can do it. Also be nicer to be able to drink faster. these in. any near me at least that i've discovered so that means we're hoofing it so i'll speed up this part as well
So this is a corrupted area that we're running through now. I'm just going to kind of sprint through here. Okay, we are back into town and we're going to go turn in our covenant quests. I see the light is still with you. The light is still with you. from Marnark's Bluffs had already been wiped out by the time. The truth <laughs> is that Marnark's Bluffs, that would be why. Well, I've heard that for... I am not sure why she needs the blocks, but it must be for something important. The settlement. First okay. light is quite some I like how they keep talking to each other anyway. Uh, and then there was another quest to turn in. Over here. A rather terrible steel. Whatever it was. The no confidence stew. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to jump on your bar like that. Apparently my beard has disappeared and my hat is questionable. Oh, there's the ingredients I need. One delicious stew. When I say this stew, a second yep. cup. So I had ordered shipments of corn and strawberries to come in. Abandoned corn and strawberries. Okay. All right. So we have gotten quite a bit done here uh, in this episode. Um, but I think that's going to do us for today. Uh, I will see you in our next episode when I'm almost 100% sure we will hit level 20. So we'll see you then.